Usman and our work as a data scientist here at TechXS Pakistan. Uh, as you know, machine learning has a lot of application and use cases, for example, computer VN, NLP, uh, statistical analysis, forecasting. So machine learning is everywhere nowadays. And today we'll uh, talk about how we are using machine learning for some of our use cases. So uh, our use cases is slightly different from uh, other common use cases. We are trying to apply machine learning and deep learning into cybersecurity's domain. Uh, so the goal here is to use machine learning to identify malicious intent or to do threat hunting in network traffic. Uh, so, uh, as you know that machine learning and deep learning has uh, evolved a lot in past few years. Uh, if you talk about computer VN and NLP, uh, you may know that uh, machines have already superseded human beings, uh, at least in computer VN and NLP. So, if you talk about some of our use cases, as I said, we are using it in cybersecurity domain. So, we have two kinds of machine learning algorithms. Uh, some are statistical algorithm and some are deep learning algorithm. Uh, some of our supervised machine learning algorithms are used for simpler tasks like phishing detection, DGA detection, and uh, malicious URL or bot detection. Uh, and uh, so if we start with phishing, so basically phishing is kind of a malicious intent or kind of a, a hacking uh, strategy that a hacker tricks normal user into clicking the phishing URL. So phishing URL is uh, basically looks similar to the authentic URL. So they just replace one of the character. For example, they replace zero with an, uh, so replace an O with zero. So it looks just like the authentic or legit uh, URL. So user kind of get tricked into clicking that URL. And once they click it, they uh, write their credentials in, in the website and then, and those credentials go straight to the uh, hackers. So we have built a machine learning algorithm which can classify between the phishing and uh, legit URLs with, with a very high confidence, which is roughly equal, uh, equivalent to 90, uh, 90%. Then we have another, um, problem, uh, it's called DZA, Domain Generating Algorithm. So some of these hackers, they create a lot of domain names, uh, which are basically random characters. Uh, so we have built a uh, machine learning model, so which can uh, distinguish between the real or legit um, uh, domain names and DGAs. So if you already know about DGA, you must know that it's a set of render, random uh, characters. Uh, it could be just any random characters with numeric uh, and um, English alphabets in, in, in it. So uh, we have built an algorithm which calculates the entropy. Entropy is basically a randomness in, in a string. So if we talk or, about uh, English language, uh, for instance, we take the letter Queen, or if we if we take the if we take the letter Q, uh, you can uh, you'll know that probability of U coming after Q is very high. For example, Queen, Q, Quick. So if we take any word that start with Q, you'll know that probability of U coming after Q is very high. So based on these probability, we have made an algorithm which can uh, classify between real English word and generated English words. And then we have other um, classifiers like bot detection and um, malicious URL. So we look at the whole URI and look for if the URL ends with .php or .exe. So this means that a hacker is trying the user to download a malicious executable script and then he or she can take control of the victim's computer. So these were some of our supervised machine learning algorithm. The list goes on. I have just talked about some of them. And then we have another uh, very important aspect of any uh, cybersecurity tool, which is UVA. It's short for User uh, Behavioral Analytics. So in the uh, UVA is a very 
important aspect of any cybersecurity tool. Uh, UPS short for user behavior analytics and uh, some people also call it UEBA and E is for entity. So the goal of, goal of UBA is to distinguish between a normal user pattern and a malicious user pattern. So for instance, if we talk about uh, an example here, uh, normal behavior could be that I come to office at 9 a.m. in the morning, I log on my system, then I go for lunch break at, from 1 to 2, and then I log off at 6 p.m. So this is my normal pattern. And uh, other things in the normal pattern could be I come to office, I check my email, then from 1 to 2 I download some, some data. Then 3 to 4 I have to upload those reports uh, and that's all. So malicious or unusual behavior could be that uh, one day I log on at 6 a.m. in the morning and I upload a lot of data which I usually do not uh, upload or log in, in in these times. So th that could be uh, that could be one of the example of uh, unusual behavior. So we have built some of the unsupervised model. Uh, it's basically isolation for us that we are running uh, behind the scene. That's algorithm we are running behind the scenes. So it, we take a lot of uh, data from our uh, NMS network monitoring system. And then we feed that algorithm into uh, feed that sorry we feed that data into our algorithm. Then we do a lot of feature engineering on top of the, those features. For example, uh, we calculate the traffic direction, uh, whether those packets were incoming or outgoing. So uh, the algorithm that is running behind the scene is called isolation for us. So we take a lot of data from our NMS, which is our network monitoring system. Uh, for example, we are using Zeek here. So uh, we feed that data into our algorithm and based on that data, we, lot of, we do a lot of feature engineering. For example, from the destination IP and the source IP, we calculate uh, direction of the packet. We calculate the PCR, which is uh, producer consumer ratio. It's a very simple, um, I would say it's a very simple feature, but it's very important. So PCR is basically the uh, ratio between your uh, download and your upload. So we can easily uh, look at uh, whether, uh, for example, uh, as I earlier talked about, uh, if I log in at 6 a.m. in the morning and I start downloading a lot of files, then the algorithm can easily uh, trigger an alert that this is not the behavior of this user. He normally logs in, uh, in uh, at 9 am and do not download anything till uh, 1 pm so if all of a sudden someone deviate from their uh, normal or the regular pattern we raise an alert so we are doing it uh, on different uh, protocols for example connection logs http logs and dns log for example if we take the dns or http logs uh, we have maintained a dictionary or we can we can say we have maintained a profile of the user that this user normally logs in from uh, Chrome browser or Firefox browser. So all of a sudden if you start using another, uh, you, you, your data is showing another user agent which is not from uh, either of these browser, Chrome or Firefox, then we say there is some kind of abnormality going on here. So this was a brief uh, overview about some of the uh, machine learning application or use cases that you can apply in cybersecurity domain. Obviously the list goes on and you can do a lot of different things to protect your environment using machine learning. Uh, yeah, so that's all. Thanks for uh, listening. Uh, bye, have a nice day.